One is family. This is Shofar from Full Show Energy Work and Full Show Health. And I'm here to speak to you today about the power of pleasure. Pleasure is something that many of us seek, even at the cellular level. It is a big part of our being. Uh, we are actually, many of us, most of us are geared towards having pleasure over pain. Uh, those of us who do have maybe some uh, draw to uh, pain, you know, like such as BDSM or some type of uh, bodily infliction, uh, usually there may be something where our pleasure and our pain thresholds have been linked together in some way, maybe something ancestral or epigenetically that some of us are working through uh, and working out by being in pain and finding it in some way pleasurable. Uh, so no judgment on that. Uh, if you fall into the camp and you like BDSM and you know the Fifty Shades of Grey type stuff, uh, but for a, a big majority of us, uh, we we like things that are pleasurable, that feel good to the body. And there's actually a power in knowing how to cultivate that. So the first thing I want to talk to you about uh, as far as pleasure and the power of it is that it can induce trance. I have a video where I talked about the spirit factor and that those of us who have the spirit factor, we're usually able to tap in our own self-pleasure and feel that at a bodily level, not just a mental concept, but it's actually become something that is corporal, that we feel in the body. And then we're able to help others to feel that as well. It becomes contagious. So this, and the way that we do that is being able to go into trance. Uh, trance and pleasure are powerful alloys um, or allies rather, or alloys. Uh, they, they, they are meant to be weaved together, you know, and we do that by in meditation or in, you know, SEX, central emotional exchange, you know, quote unquote, making love, taking those things in our life that did not feel like love and being able to go into a state of trance uh, and through the thoughts, I have videos on what a thought is, but basically the mental pictures and or the mental uh, affirmations that we are saying, uh, that voice that we hear, uh, that when we're not using our outward voice, that soul voice that we can hear at any given time with the inner ear, the inner heart, noticing how the word heart has ear and ear in it. So we are able to shut down the, the left brain, which is the more cognitive, logical side of the be being that provides structure, which is great. Uh, it's, a, it's a great calculator. It, it can get a lot of shit done as far as time. But then we want to transcend time sometimes. And pleasure is a great way to do that. It's a great way to get us out of that uh, regular waking mind. And then it is also a way to supercharge what it is that we want and, and super magnetize it. Uh, noticing how the word magnetic has magic in it. But when we are, when we cultivate pleasure in the body, we become more magnetic. Many of us though, because the powers that were, the powers that were know this about us and they try to keep us in a state of basically many different emotions, fear, uh, you know, anxiety, or pleasure that is leaked out towards pleasure that now becomes some type of consumerism, pleasure that uh, has, that is linked to some vision, some uh, goal that someone else is wanting, rather than it being harnessed and cultivated for ourself and our journey. In other words, what I'm giving that is like, think of pleasure as, uh, you know, you have a plant and you're watering it and that the water is the pleasure, right? Some people are getting us to water their gardens rather than our own. Fuck all of that. Bringing uh, this energy back into self and keeping it in our own bodies rather than they, we get so excited that we're masturbating, uh, that we're, you know, consumerism spending money, money and honey, right? We're using our money uh, to feed 
someone else's garden. So that's another powerful thing about pleasure is that it can induce trance. And pleasure can be generated. Many of us don't know how to notice how, how the word generate has gene in it, as in like a gene, uh, you know, uh, that's in our DNA, our divine natural awareness. Also gene, like as in genie uh, that grants wishes. Um, but we are beyond this place of just wishing because wishing doesn't, you know, you're not, we're not necessarily going to make it happen. How do we generate something, you know? And pleasure is one of those things that can help us generate what we want in life. It also can help us maintain it. It can be a, a maintaining factor. If we can, if we know how to uh, keep pleasure in our bodies at a healthy level, not too much, not too little. I have a video talking about semen retention and um, ejaculation. This is what I'm talking about in that video is we don't want to be too much of either. So we don't want to be ejaculating our, 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 as men, our semen or just our pleasure energy and just spreading it out in the world haphazardly. And we also don't want to be constricted and restricted um, around our energy, which is kind of like what we could do if we go overboard with the semen retention or if we go overboard about masturbating, and not masturbating. You know what I mean? We want to be in a balanced place of keeping pleasure in our body. Too much pleasure, you're going to overheat your heart, your brain, uh, and you can throw off your health. And too little, you know, is also not good. Our kidneys need to be heated up and feel some fire, some passion, ion, passion. Um, you've heard me talk before about the ion words, any of those words that have a transference of energy have ion in it, which is in science, uh, a charged particle. So we want to use the pleasure in our bodies to maintain uh, what, what it is that we want in life, to be able to generate those things in the first place, and then to slowly taper out and, and fade out those things that we no longer, that no longer serve us either. That is a function of pe uh, pleasure. And to do that, we need to really, you know, what things do we need to fade out? What things do we even maybe need to cut? That is, or people that we need to fade out or cut is being able to tune into what our leaks are. What are our energy leaks? What are our pleasure leaks? It may be a codependent relationship that we have. It may be some false BS, some false belief system, some old outdated idea, some ism, you know, uh, racism, ableism, ageism, classism, intellectualism, sexism, and materialism. That's, those are all things that uh, my lady and me, Kirthi, we go over in our Healing Us uh, uh, webinars. Maybe it's something like that. There are many different things that can act as energy leaks. The powers that were know how they keep us in a state of having energy leaks, how to put another big butt in our face or to have us, you know, thirsty uh, for a certain uh, a relationship or a relationship type that right now just keeps seeming to be out of our out of our grasp. Right. Many of us, we we've been fed to want uh, the physicality, you know, to want mates to have a certain physical look that maybe is not even common. These are ways of having energy leaks. We are wanting to have a life um, better than the one that we currently have. And, always, and not from a place of uh, a healthy wanting or longing, but it actually has become something that uh, is an energy leak because it comes from a state of scarcity and lack. These are things that can act as energy leaks, energy leaks or links, I guess, uh, for our pleasure. And we want to do the work so that we can pull that energy back in, have it be corpor corporal, have it be in our physical body and don't let it out unless we want to let it out. And the last thing I'll say on the, the whole uh, pleasure and understanding the power of pleasure is lust and passion, passion and lust. Again, passion is that ion word I've said in before in another video that passion to me is when we take our primal sexual energy that is generated by the genitals and all of us at the root, uh, regardless of 
uh, how we show up with our polarity. In other words, whatever genitals we have and however they, we show up, whether it be heterosexual, bisexual, uh, transsexual, whatever you're, the way you're playing with the polarities in your physical body, the genes at, at, at different levels, if we don't, you know, if they haven't been too cut off by, you know, uh, being tampered with by trauma and incest or uh, rape or uh, different things that need to be healed, uh, religious beliefs, then at a genetic level, somewhere on a scale, our ovaries and or our sperm cells want to procreate very badly. They yearn for it. They uh, they they're moving around and vibrating, uh, wanting to to procreate and create something. That energy is pleasurable, and it's always pleasurable. It's just tuning our our awareness in that that energy is always being generated, not just by the gonads, not just by our genitals, but really by all of the organs, all of the different body parts. Uh, of our being, they're all singing, they're all in the harmony. Uh, that's why we call them organs, like musical instruments. And so being able to tune into that and that primal energy, when we mix it with, when we hear it with the heart, noticing how the word heart has here and ear in it, when we hear it with our heart and we express it with our art, noticing how heart has art in it, now we have pash ion. But when we don't have these, when it's just the, the feeling and then we leak it out by masturbation or we leak it out with guilt and shame, we leak it out with fear, we leak it out um, with ejaculation. Uh, when we do it these ways, it's just simply lust energy. And uh, knowing what it is that, that puts us in a state of lust uh, is good. And managing these things, you know, with certain images for me, you know, fat ass and, you know, or nice body or whatever, these different things. So knowing uh, what it is that puts you in a state of lust and being able to do the breath work, being able to do the, the movements, the stuff to take those energies and alchemize them uh, is part of managing and keeping pleasure in the body to be circulated and cultivated so that we can generate and maintain those things that are blissful in our life. Aho. And so with that, y'all, I hope that that is some help for you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments on that. You can leave that down below. Uh, you know, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And also maybe if you want to go deeper into this, think about being a Patreon. I have a Patreon channel as well. I'll put the link here or the, the information rather. And again, I'm so far from full show energy work and full show health. My lady and me, we help people uh, to cultivate the power of pleasure. We help couples to do that together. Uh, she also works with the ladies. I work with men. We work with non-binary to help you uh, do that. I have a book, Sacred Orgasmic Living Soul, that does that as well. And then we have a series of webinars, Sex to S-E-X, Central Emotional Exchange. Uh, Check the link down below. Uh, we have some upcoming webinars. We do them at least once a quarter. So check down below to see when is the next one. Maybe you can get in on that. And thank you all for coming through again, y'all. I appreciate you. Keep that SEX in your life. Keep shining. Keep evolving. And do so exponentially. Oneness. <laughs>